bit in general to this week's episode of Ted O'Clock. I am a Cockney named Zena <laughs> I'm very Cockney. And this is your non Cockney Nazif. Um, I was gonna try and do a like a really heavy southern accent, but honestly I've lost that ability, so I'll just Hi Anyway, random. What was is is that what is that Narma drone? Yes. Is that the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're doing. I'm doing a Narma bounty in this, and it looks like the drone is like a little worm, like a little worm. I didn't know that. Anyway, right. So moving on. Uh, just to well, we we you know welcome everyone. This is ten o'clock. Uh, changing things up. Starting this week. Uh, can you hit the the, the dodo dusting button? Dodo dusting. Yeah, we're getting right into the yep. dusting. Right. So uh, the first point. There is no. Uh, what you call uh, emblems for the foreseeable? Like it's it's become so difficult to find emblems. Uh, it will come back at some point, just not. You know, uh, it's it's just so difficult to find them. You know be, how hard it is. It'd be nice to have like a backlog of ten or so before you start doing it again. Yeah, I, I imagine when oh gosh, what are the angels of the Zaraman comes up i i think it'll be easier to find them like probably like the first thing Loz and i will do is or you and i depends uh we'll frantically <laughs> scurry around try to find emblems and just like you know just, just hoard all the emblems it's gonna be end of um, april so Loz better be back by then uh wait did they actually give a date they just said they april did. Didn't they? they said they said end of april okay they, cool. didn't, they didn't give so, an actual like firm date but you know okay so uh another point Another point, uh, speaking about Loz, his internet was supposed to be installed today, the day of recording, which is the 12th of March. Um, turns out that his service provider completely screwed the pooch. And uh, they, they this is how you do cable. business. They, they installed the cable next door. <laughs> it's just like a good job. Anyway, yeah. So uh, we we don't know when we're getting laws back. We you know, but uh, soon, TM. Right. Uh, oh God, will he be back in time for the twelve episode review of Campi Cast? For for he better ooh. be. Ooh, he better be. Right. Okay. We're only in uh, episode nine of some of most of the shows, right? So. Well, yeah. uh, sorry, going Campi Cast stuff. Um, yeah. No, uh, oh, what's, no, no, no. Uh, my Dress Up Darlings just had 10. Oh, wow. Okay. So All right. We're only like two or three episodes away from the end. So, Jeez. ooh. Anyway, right. Uh, it's supposed to be end of March. But anyway, right. So, moving on to do, 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 uh, other points. So, um, I, so, we got some platinum winners, right? Uh, we have Rickus7 uh, on PC. Uh, sh- Sir Lockalot94 on PlayStation, TD Stranger 101 on Xbox, and Tucker Wins on Switch. See, you should be oh, you should man. be reading these out like they do on the dev stream where they try to get them wrong. Uh, well, I'd love to, <laughs> but it's hard enough to read them without my glasses on because I'm currently cleaning them. <laughs> so you know, I'm, I'm I'm going with what hand is dealt. Right. However, even though we're not doing the emblems, we are still doing the the giveaways. So if you go into the description below, well, you'll find this week's episode polls. You know, just simply fill in the polls. You can just put in your your name and gay, uh, what's called what platform you play on, and leave it entirely as that. And then you know, bish bash bosh, jobs are good. I mean, um, you should answer the poll, but you don't have to. Yep, but. Uh, you know, it's it's because it, that's that's how we we pick the winners and things. So because we merged the two together, it made sense. But uh, yeah, so you can still win seventy five platinum for your platform of choice. Make sure you get your in game name correct and the platform. Because if you get it wrong, and um, de turn back to me and say, "Hey, Zeno, who's who's the this person? We don't know who this person is." I'll be like. Hey, DE, I, I ain't got a clue. I got no way of contacting them, and I'm in the middle of putting out server fires, so no, I can do about that. Uh, and then the last bit of dojo dusting is Tobiah has lovingly, painstakingly put together a tool for my Discord server, link in the description below, um, allowing people to finally it's like allowing you know it's a scheduled thing where automatically the supporter questions are wiped and there's an announcement 
on the channel saying, hey, the channel's ready. <laughs> Unlike my usual muppetry, where I just fuck it up and forget to tell people, <laughs> oh, I've already cleared the channel. Whoops, my bad. Um, because we've had a few weeks of that. Right, okay, so... Um, yeah, that's it for Dojo Dusting. It's now time for the War Report! So we got uh, Ooh, the Terminator. Jeez. Well, I'm, I'm the Terminator done badly, so. Uh. <laughs> you gotta, gotta, gotta avoid that copyright uh, ID. All <laughs> right. So, uh, first point of the war report uh, PUBG announced a Warframe collab. Uh, which there's very, very little information on whatsoever. Uh, all, all I could really find was an article from IGN saying from the 10th to the 9th, sorry, 10th of March to the 19th of uh, April, and he said August, PUBG players can earn Warframe themed skins and other items by playing and com uh, competing, completing, completing special missions and events. The developers say that more event tie-ins will be announced soon, so expect more from War uh, sorry, more Warframe content in the coming weeks. So it really came out of the blue. It it sounds to me like they're trying to advertise for Warframe in some of their other games. It's quite possible it's that, but also trying to bring Warframe players into PUBG. Possible, yeah. Realistic person. I mean, I'm not personally. enjoying PUBG just to get some skins. Yeah, nope. I mean, honest, honestly, I, I, um, I don't know what the direction of this is from. This is pure 100% speculation. I'm very sure that Tencent has some affiliation with PUBG, and we know that Tencent has affiliation with uh, Warframe. Oh, right. I keep so mixing up PUBG and Fortnite for some reason in my head. Oh no! Yeah, 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 no. I mean that that that's nightmare fuel. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so that, that's that could be part of it. But in all honesty, we don't know. We're just speculating here. Um, I was kind of surprised that this was not mentioned in the dev stream. Yeah. Um, but well, I guess what because it is. I guess because the, War, the Warframe side of it isn't doing anything. It's just the PUBG side. Yeah, I mean, like. We I, we spoke about this a bit on Discord. Uh, again, shameless plug in the description below. And in all honesty, I I would be okay with seeing some sort of like cosmetic varieties in Warframe, but I wouldn't like to ever see characters. So like when you have the crossovers for Monster Hunter, where you have like uh, Geralt of Rivia um, come into Monster Hunter, right? Yeah. yeah. Like that, I think would be too jarring for me in Warframe right whereas you know if it was like some stuff about cosmetics or heck maybe doomslayer could be in warframe and he's like a quest giver a, a silent protagonist mm. you know who's on deimos and he's like giving out quests and maybe you see imps or something from doom like again i i'd be okay with it to a certain degree it's entirely about implementation right but also again time limited events that starts you know going into territories of you're forcing me to play i really don't like being forced yeah. to play you know um or rather um you, you are massively triggering fear of missing out and i really don't like that yeah you know? that's a good one so, that's a better way to put it yeah it's not you know no one's holding like gun to my head or anything like that but anyway but yes that's that's the PUBG warframe collab next thing we have the dev workshop for the angel of the zaraman which is on the forums and the link is in the description it's, below this was it's like not yeah. a full dev workshop it's a it's a dev workshop quote unquote preview it's essentially just everything they said in the dev stream written down right somewhere. right well we're gonna go over that anyway yeah um if you, if you and go then look at it, you can go you can go look at it and see yeah, that's true. Uh, I mean, you might want to, uh, what's called, read it better than listen to two rats <laughs> prattle on about it, right? Okay. Uh, then the next part is 
um, the owner of Warframe Market will have to put development on hold as they live in Russia. The site will continue to function as normal for the foreseeable future. And I think some, you know, behind the scenes stuff has been handled that, you know, allows it to keep running and operating. Yeah. Um, while like a lot of this embargo stuff is currently going on uh, across the world um, against Russia. Yeah, he's, I think he's got friends who are outside of Russia who are, who are basically handling everything. Much like how Tobias is helping massively with the, uh, oh gosh, what's the name, uh, the, the, the scheduling thing because <laughs> I can't get my shit together. Um, and uh, actually, actually, one thing we didn't talk about in Dojo Dusting, very briefly, we did release the demo of the, the high quality podcast stuff um, on youtube.com slash campicast and it it came out really really well i was really pleased with the the quality especially the audio quality that was the thing that concerned me the most and i was so pleased with how the audio came out yeah so you know but we have to still work out some technical uh do hickey mobs like you know making sure that everyone is recorded um even if they're not using the newfangled setup that i've put cobbled together so right uh I think that's it for the war report. So it's time to talk about our only topic for this week, which oh, is you know what I didn't do? What? I didn't type what? the topic into uh Well just, just have a quick pause. All right. Just have a yeah, quick pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much better. All right. Yeah. Now I, can, now I can actually hit the button. The topic is Yeah. Up. Cool. Right. So we got dev stream one hundred and sixty. Uh, which is the Angels of the Zaraman. Right, cool. So we got... Plus, plus we some got, other stuff, but mostly Angels, yeah. We got some very, uh, oh God, extensive notes. Which uh, we shall... That's, we shall a, that's a kind now. way to put it. They're extensive. <laughs> they extend. No, they're, right. they're good. They're good. They're excellent. Okay, cool. So uh, they are nearly at nine years of dev streams. Uh, a special cast on... Uh, stream, sorry, special cast on stream this month, including Pablo and Megan. The discussion covered three main topics, some brief and others more in depth. These topics were the upcoming minor update this month, the, the nine year anniversary event, and uh, the next large update, Angels of the Zaraman. Yes. Scroll down, scroll down. No, it should scroll down. be in end of April. Yeah, right. Uh, so, Nightwave and the next update. The new Nightwave update uh, is Nora's Mix uh, with 21 new acts and 6 new rewards that include skins, a cyan dana, and a new domestic drone, which no one asked for. D, please take it away. Oh, no, if I take I'm, away I'm super this. excited for, for, the, for the new domestic drone. You lie. Right. Uh, this coming update will include the promised augment buffs. These are a laundry list of updates to all of the least used augments in the game, such as Limbo's Rift Surge. I don't even know what Limbo's Rift Surge uh, does. Enemies in that are they're in the rift when they enter or exit, I believe, uh, they take extra damage. Uh, the plan uh, is going to be that all of these will see. Uh, sorry, will be small tweaks. Because Pablo doesn't want to take away functions that already exist. This is supported by the leaks that appeared about a month ago, where augments like Chroma's uh, guided effigy gains additional functions when you toggle it to move and also generates energy for Chroma in the process, making it more efficient to use. The next uh, frame rework is Garuda. In preparation for her prime, sorry, in preparation for her prime, with some animations and there were animations I changes. Don't know if there were. Oh, okay. I, I mean, uh, if you said and, it, it's probably right. But <laughs> and tweaks to all of her abilities. For example, during the char so during the charge of her second and fourth, uh, she will be invulnerable. Which one's her second? <sighs> That's not Blood Mirror, is it? I think that's I think that's the one where you spike an enemy. That's her second. 
Is that the? I thought that. Was oh, that... I don't know. I don't know her. I thought that was her third. Well, then I can't if remember. That's, if that's her third, then her second is Blood Moon. What's her ultimate then? I thought the ultimate was Blood Mirror. No, the ultimate is where she charges up her claws and and shoots them all over the map. Wow, I do not know Garuda at all. <laughs> Uh, and her passive damage boost effect is going to be adjusted to work based on killing enemies instead of her current health level. So it was very much a case of uh, you know the the speed in which you're killing things, much like a combo multiplier in most fighting games. Mm. Um, Did you notice that they're this... skipping uh, Korra to go straight for Garuda instead? What is Prime? Yeah, I mean they, they don't no, always I... follow the order, but but usually they're pretty close to it. I mean, the biggest one that was out of order was Nova. Yeah. You know, but like, I, I don't think that's 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 a big problem. I no, mean, to be fair, I feel I feel like Cora could. I don't know. This is my personal feel. Like Cora could do with some TLC. Um, mm. maybe it's a case of they want to put some more effort into that. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. I, I feel that a Garuda is in a healthier place than Cora, so I think Cora may need more work before she could come out as a prime. Maybe I, I I'm not so sure about that, but yeah. Either way, it's, either way, it's my opinion. It's my opinion, and I'm more than likely wrong. Uh, this update drops next week, as of the dev stream. Uh, so this week actually, and uh, there will be a dev workshop on the forums to provide players with more in-depth descriptions as um so of the plan changes. I'm getting hiccups at purely the wrong time. Would you like me to take over for a bit? No, I'm good. All right. Garuda was as uh, a Garuda Prime was revealed, including new Cyandana, primed armor set, and Nagata. Nagantaka. 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 That's her. Um, that's her repeating crossbow. Okay then, uh, Prime. Uh, editors know I'm only. Sorry, am I the only one that thinks they just tweaked the Zephyr Prime helmet to make it Garuda's? Ah, uh, I honestly didn't notice. I mean, I felt that way about Mesa Prime and Limbo Prime, but I, 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 yeah, I could I could appreciate that. I mean, one thing I will say I didn't like about Garuda Prime was her. Um, <laughs> I, I made a horrible joke about it, but like her, <laughs> her the she she's got some weird flaps the coming cloth, off of her yeah. chest. Oh. I'm like, it looks really weird and odd, but. Flaps coming off her chest. No, no, yeah, yeah. It's it's like cloth, right? You mean the stuff just hang from, her, from like her elbows? No, 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 no. It, it hang. Pardon my vulgarity, my uh, <laughs> my lack of candor. Her tits, right? It is is literally just no, not not Cora. Cora. <laughs> why why, why <laughs> do they do that? Warframe Garuda Prime. So he's looking it up on. Uh, oh, you were talking about the Prime. Yeah, 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 the Prime. Oh. Yeah? Uh, so you can probably find it on... Uh, images. What's it called? Like, Twitter or something like that. Uh, I can't see it there at all. Nope. Ah, uh, well, I'll, I'll take your word for it. It's, it's, it, it, it just it really looked off. It looked really, really off to me. Mm. And I was, I was just like, what the hell am I seeing? Weird. So, I, I noticed anyway. that I, I noticed the ones on her arms looked looked really good, but I I didn't even notice that I completely spaced out on that. Part, apparently, well, I I thought it was actually well, I hope I hoped it was actually the armor uh, piece on her chest, but mm. I don't think that was the the case. It just it just I like, honestly like I don't know, maybe maybe it's just a case of like oh look where Zeno is looking, um, <laughs> but it you know it's honestly it just screwed, much like the the weird. Uh, side tassels to um, Ash. Like, it just stood out to me from a mile away. I was like, what the hell? Anyway. Uh, but uh, apart from that, I really liked her aesthetic. Yes. Anyway, uh, Garuda so. Prime arrives with the ninth anniversary. Cool. Speaking of okay. the ninth anniversary, 
Yep. Uh, the new Dex equipment is Dex Wisp. <laughs> which is and this will be coming with all of the previous Dex equipment, which uh, will be available in the same way as they uh, have been for previous years. The alerts uh, that are available on rotation. This update will uh, is on the 28th of March, which I think is a Monday, actually. Hmm. Um, um I, I don't know how I feel. Of all the frames that they could have given us a dex of, did Wisp really need one? Well, also, they removed they removed the back flaps on her uh, outfit, so her butt is more exposed. I did notice that. Yeah, uh, I, I feel I feel in part this may have come off of the back of that survey that was done at the beginning of the year, mm. where Wisp was. You know the the highest rated walking to get a new oh gosh uh deluxe. deluxe skin yeah right but i mean they've got other deluxe skins in the pipelines so you know it's like when so how, maybe this is how, complicated how long does it generally take them to design a skin because if they we just had know. that survey like at the beginning of this year yeah um, but i mean that 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 wasn't that that's just a um you know, a visual change. It's, it wasn't anything major. It's still, you know, it's not going from the original Oberon to the Fayark skin. It's just, oh no, we're just we're just painting the original Fair. skin. Fair. Yeah. So, um, you know, I, I think asking a Tenogen artist, they'd probably say it would take a few days. So, you know, uh, but anyway, uh, do you, do you, I mean, I'm interested of course, but, I'm going to get it because it's I mean, it's a it's a free skin. Why wouldn't I get it? And yeah, I do actually play true. Wisp quite a bit, but I'm yeah. going to have to use I'm going to have to use a cyan downer to cover that butt. I I just can't can't with that. Uh, okay. <laughs> Is it like too distracting? Nothing... For you? Yes, it's too distracting. You you just go straight off a cliff. You just walk straight off the cliff edge. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, anyway, so unless we've got anything else, let's move on to the next part. Yeah. Cool. So the Angels of the Zaraman. Uh, there's a quest for this update, which will give players access to the Zaraman as a set uh, of nodes similar to the Void. Um, the Zaraman brings a social hub that links uh, to procedural levels of procedurally generated uh, missions directly in the same way that hubs like Fortuna link directly to the open world so yeah the whole idea is that you choose your mission and then you just go through a door and then you've started your mission which is i think what steve has wanted to do with railjack you know all this time is, is have that sort of yeah. seamless loading without the loading screen yes so i mean we, we're getting so much closer now um because he, his dream is to never leave the back of the warframe isn't it it's like always yeah always be there sort of thing uh, um, also also in relation to a procedurally generated level the i gotta say the tile set looks really good yeah but we'll we'll, we'll get to that in um in uh, a hot minute the, the biggest concern i have is that the tile slot's not the tile set is not expansive enough yes um yeah. a la infested vaults infestation vaults i can't remember what they're called Oh, the, uh, the, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. The isolation vaults, yeah. Right. Yeah, but if, if they do it right, what, they, what they'll do is, like they did with the old days, they'll, they'll introduce a basic tile set, and then, like, every month or two, they'll release a new tile to go into it. Um, yeah, well, hope. Let's hope. 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 Let, 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 let's hope. Let's hope. Big hope. Right, uh, there's a quest for this... I don't know. I think I already read that part. Uh, the Zeremon Bruna read that part. Uh, you'll be able to. Yes. Yeah, you'll be able to choose a node and then simply take a lift to access it instead of having to leave and begin the mission from the orbiter. The chrysalith. Chrysalith. Yeah. Is that okay? Uh, node is a public social hub that. Uh, updates and completes as you can uh, complete the quest. Is that? Did they say that? Um, must have. I mean, I I don't remember that, but it would make sense that it would that it would unlock sort of like the same way that um, 
Deimos did. You know, as you as you did yeah. the quest, more areas kind of became access- accessible. More of the Entrati woke up and shit. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Uh, the chrysalith is uh, so this chrysalith hub is DE's next step in making oh, a oh, seamless transition between um, a hub and the procedural levels meaning that while you are still able to launch missions from your orbiter you can navigate to those uh, same nodes directly from the social hub via a lift this uh, lift area in the hub is not uh, just the gateway to other nodes, but you can also take your own. Um, so it can take you to your own apartment. One thing I really want to know, though, is can the 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 mission also um, end with you walking back into the the chrysalis the elevator? Yeah, yeah. That that's that's what I want to know. And are these node types the same as? Uh, oh gosh, you, you know how you got the defection missions where the the exit is right next to the entrance, but you've got to do the you got to do all yes. the escorting, right? Yeah. Or is it um, a case of like you know you can have really long levels and then oh you come to the end and then there's a teleporter that will take you back to the chrysalis? You well, know, it's it's the one they showed us looked at like an endless type, like it looked essentially kind of like. Um... Sanctuary onslaught, or well, yeah, defense, yeah. Um, I, I thought more like sanctuary onslaught because you're you're well, killing enemies, and instead of opening a uh, that's, fish, that's a, a the rift, mission, yeah, yeah, okay, that's the mission type and things. Yeah, the the reason why I'm saying defense is because the defense has no exit, right? So you would effectively go back the way you came in, right? Is it going to be like that, or is it going to be more like a survival or or defection, like you said, where you could just choose yeah. to leave whenever? Or you know, again, the next question is the whole exterminate mission type because we saw is, is that it going to were... be an exterminate? We don't know what yeah, it's no, actually no, going to no. be. No, we saw there was there was uh, four types. There was um, oh god, I can't remember what the two on the left was. Uh, but one of them was exterminate. On the right, there was exterminate and Armageddon. Okay, all right, I missed the so, exterminate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th- again, that's that's what we saw. But let's 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 continue with our notes and go on to the apartments. Yeah. So the apartment can be fully decorated, and if you want to invest time and resources, the apartment can be upgraded to include a much larger room that has a panoramic uh, window screen. Sorry, window scenes. Uh, you can even change the soundscape. Um, soundscape? Yeah. So they they Is didn't they didn't do way? any of it because they didn't have any of the sound. Like the, the system was the menu was still in complete place placeholder, like really really bad placeholder. Uh, right. But they said that the the sound team has worked on different soundscapes to go along with it. Oh, okay, fair enough then. Um, Right. Uh, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm not so, sure how I feel about a, like having an apartment that we've already got so much other housing. If 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 you can unlock a for a foundry and you know your other uh, ship stuff from there, then I'm all for it. But otherwise, I don't I don't I don't know that I see a point. I'm just trying to think about this. I'm deep in thought while watching the footage. In all honesty, I'm of the same opinion because this apartment complex is only going to be available to you on the Zaraman, mm-hmm. right? Like you don't. Ha- if you go to Fortuna, you don't have access to your your two by two living cube, right? Yeah. You you don't. You know n- none of that. So, and how often do you want to? you know stylize your living space i mean in all honesty i still i've barely done mine right yeah i've done some of the lasset right but i've not touched the um the the helminth room i've not touched the uh the the operator room and i've not um touched the personal quarters well i've barely touched the personal quarters and like I'm, it's just nothing i'm particularly interested in and now you've right? also got the whole of the drifter camp to also yep. decorate if you want. Yep. Yep. There's the whole of the drifter camp. And there's also now this 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 apartment. And yep. like it feels really weird. Like this 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 disconnect. Yeah. Right. 
it would have been, been nice if they'd figured out some way to sort of do, sort of do this in a dojo but also keep it connected to the the hub like maybe you could load from the hub into your dojo i don't, I don't know i don't know i feel it does feel quite disjointed uh because I mean, it's still, it just like there's still sections of the uh, the 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 world that just like you know, uh, this, this is barren. This is this is I still can't do everything from one place. Yeah. If you want to make it so that the Lassettes aren't, um, oh gosh, necessary required. Uh. No, I was going to say left by the wayside. The only way you can oh, do that right. is to make sure that you know that there's still a function that the Lassettes perform that the you know the apartments can't mm. fulfill. Yeah, which you know uh, a simple one would be well, you you can't go do any mission from your apartment. You have to do it from you know the Lassette. Well, okay, and then there's the whole functionality of like modding and your arsenal and your foundry the foundry has been the big one that's been missing from like every sodding uh player hub yeah. there is you know and i don't know how much i'm going to invest in this apartment one thing i will say if if d were to capitalize on this right is if you join a group uh, a pre-made group so let's say me you and Loz uh, we are in a three-man group and we decide hey let's go uh, check out someone's uh, apartment then um, I you know we go into the elevator and the elevator has three buttons asking you which apartment do you want to go to right and you just like okay i want to go to nazis apartment and then yeah. the group goes to nazis apartment or we and then we go back to the elevator and it's like okay which apartment do you want to go to oh, i want to go to loz's apartment right and it just has that you know saves you having to go in and out because right now it's great inviting people to come to your set it's too clunky oh yeah it is when they, it's when, they leave, clunky. when they leave your set they leave the squad yeah it's it's yeah, so yeah, weird yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and so you can only that, go to the host ship, and yeah, yep, yeah. So uh, that that yeah. Oh yeah, there was something else I was gonna say about the the room. I don't even if I do get the apartment, I I don't see a reason to get the bigger room with the window. It yeah. just it just seems so empty and useless. Oh, I, I get to go yeah. look at a nice picture. Could do that, or I could go play the game. <laughs> you know realistically right let, let's face it this this feature was not built for us this was built for people that wanted player housing for some reason yeah right you know this this wasn't intended and they weren't satisfied with us. their orbiter for some reason yeah so you know i i you know we, we are blowing smoke out of our own ass um we are the the functional player not the fashionable player so you know i mean hell i've seen you do more with your drifter camp than i will probably ever do <laughs> yeah but that's just because it's silly fun yeah but giant even so like this guy mm. you know that i could get a giant um oh god uh orb mother and put her in this you know i still don't care yeah you know, it's but um anyway right uh i don't really i think the important thing is to me what would make it infinitely more interesting is just that seamless inviting of other people yeah that would go such a long way anyway right shall we uh move on to the next section or do you have anything else you want to talk about no, i think that's it yeah Cool. All right. The next part is there are three three new uh, game modes coming with the Angels of the Zaraman. Uh, they originally said two. Uh, we are shown one of them called Void Flood. That's right? the one. Um, which they described as the most parkour rewarding mode. Uh, <laughs> in, in the the sure. gameplay demonstrate. Uh, sorry, in the gameplay demonstration, the aim uh, is to clode void fractures by picking up 
vitoplasts or vitoplasts. I think it's vitoplasts. Float, vit, uh, float, vitoplasts. <laughs> floating around uh, uh, the map and taking them into the fracture. Uh, if you do not close the fractures quickly, various debuffs will affect you. So I know the first one was you started taking void damage, and the second one was a depletion of your shields. I can't remember what the third one was. Yeah. Um, so uh, if you do, uh, do not close them quickly enough, um, you start taking debuffs. This includes making the uh, Vito Plus pickups uh, mm. do damage when you pick them up, slowly draining shields, and more. Between every three fractures, uh, a mini boss spawns. Uh, the one we saw was a large grenier uh, imbued with void energy called Thrax Centurion. If you fail to kill the Centurion quickly, he will consume a nearby enemy and completely regenerate. Uh, during the actual demonstration, however, he 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 would D, but you know that that's a bug. <laughs> You know, make him full size again. But yes, so what were your thoughts of this game mode? I I thought it looked fun. Um, it's not your tra traditional defense or, you know, it's a little closer to a survival. Um, it, it gave me... So I don't generally like a lot of endless modes. The only one okay. that I've really enjoyed so far has been Disruption. And it, it sort of gives me somewhere between disruption i know i know you hate disruption but but it lets you so all the other all the other modes um even defense to some degree are tied to like you can't really control how fast you can do them but with disruption with a good team uh and some and some relatively basic strats you can do really quick rounds yeah. uh, and so i i think that feeling of control is part of what makes it makes it fun for me um and this kind of has a similar feel. It depends on how fast you can pick up this this vitoplast, how good your team is at, you know, bouncing off the walls, which <laughs> calling it parkour challenging. Really? Really? No, well, I mean, like, for you or I, I think that I mean a lot of players don't parkour, right? It's it's incredible how many players just don't do anything parkour related. Yeah. Right? I mean, I've seen you move around in this gameplay as your operator more than I've seen other people parkour at all, <laughs> right? You know, I, I, you know I, I, whenever I've taken someone, like, uh, you know, brought someone new to Warframe, the first thing I teach them is how to parkour. Yeah. So, you know, crouch, jump, crouch, jump, crouch, jump, crouch, it's jump. It's so important. It's like, you know, don't, don't, you're holding W down. Don't hold down W. Just crouch, jump, right? That's all you need to do. Just crouch, <laughs> jump. And it, you know, it, uh, you know, it is really, really important. But the number of people that just run around normally, it's it's staggering. You know, you you'd think though, at the point that you're getting to the, the store, the new war, you'd have learned at least some parkour by that point. But it's not a necessity, is it? No, that's that's I, fair. Well, I mean, eh, <laughs> Jupiter these days, kind of. Uh, the, the number of people I know that have struggled with Jupiter until they've learned how to parkour is is staggering. But still, I you know, so I remember the the first uh, I think it was like Mega Man X game for the SNES, right? And uh, this this is actually kind of heavily inspired by Eager Raptors uh, or Aaron Hansen's uh sequelitis series right so eager raptor is a huge uh, um person in terms of the the gameplay right the gameplay is super important you have to get it you really have to hit it uh bullseye first time because if you do not properly introduce someone to a mechanic uh like as soon as they get it you know they're, they're going to have a horrible experience right so for example metroid is one of the the, the best examples of this because whenever you get a new um 
what you call it, feature, like you get the morph ball, you have to use the morph ball to get out of the situation you're currently in. As soon as you get the rocket launcher, you have to use the rocket launcher to get out of the situation you're currently in. You have to learn how to use that new gameplay feature. In order. But the thing with parkour is we have never done that. We have, we've got parkour from the get-go. We have never learned the necessity, the value of ever parkouring anywhere. It's true. Right? So, I mean, hell, I'm still watching you right now. You're still, you are walking, running, hell of a lot more than I do. I well, literally I'm stationary at this objective, right? I don't need to jump around as much. Yeah, but still, even, even me, I would still jump around like a Looney Tune. <laughs> yeah, you're sprinting. You're sprinting right now. You know? Now you're bullet jumping. It's, it's, you know, ev everyone's a different degrees. So, yeah. I can, I could totally see that people, you know, the, people taking this seriously, that this is like a parkour challenge because, you know, th they're not used to it, right? Okay, I, that's but, actually a good, good perspective on it. Yeah. Um, do you have any other further points or shall I say mine? Um, mm, no, I think that's it, yeah. So I, I liked this game mode. I can see it getting... Um, uh, monotonous, just like any of the other game modes, fairly quickly. Um, I think this is very much a case of you know you you play with friends or so on and so forth. You still you still need the the core uh, coping mechanisms of playing Warframe. Mm -hmm. Um, I did like the idea of you have to pick up stuff that you then have to deposit. I feel that there are some UI tweaks that could be made because there's no true understanding of how much uh, Vitaplast or Vitaplast or whatever plasts uh, you have stored up, right? That, that, you know, it's floating in that jug next to you. And to me, I feel like it would be good to have a number there. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah, I was actually um, struggling to see anywhere on the screen where it told you like how much you have and how much you need. No, it only shows you a you know your jug. That's all it's. Yeah. I mean, I think the only way to to really know that is we have to work out how much a full jug is. Right. And then it would just be pure guesswork after that. Uh, so uh, I also felt that the the link between the um the warframe ooh, and the fracture needed to be clearer mm, right yeah it's it, it was so you just kind of stand there and, and nothing really happens yeah, no th th there is there is a, a lightning link there's a like electricity going between you and the device but it's quite thin and narrow yeah. right it didn't feel like there was enough of a tell to say like you know you are making an impact right but Again, not not the end of the world. I like the idea that the the thing you have to get become hazardous uh, as um, time goes on. One other point of concern I do have is what happens. Say 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 you've got to uh, you you've got this fracture and you require a hundred um, vitoplasts to uh, close it right right and everyone splits off into different directions and they all collect 25 veto blasts right there has to be some form of communication or at least coordination to get them to come back to the fracture to close the fracture or uh they have to make sure that they're constantly churning out veto blasts into the mission so that you can basically solo it does that make sense i i think it looked like it, there there was regenerating you know because they, they said you also get it from killing enemies well yes yes but my point is that you know players can make the experience worse by not oh, contributing yes. yeah they yeah, can yeah. collect it well, all and not contribute to any of it it's it's a similar problem that you have in the index where like one person will just sit there and hoard points even though, like, yeah. you get you, you stop getting a bonus after twenty, and they're they're sitting on right. like fifty points, and it's, come on, just just turn it in already. Yeah. 
Are they just AFK or are they just being dickheads? I I think it, a lot of times it's a rhino doing it, and I don't know if they they know that you can that you stop getting a bonus after a certain point or right. I, who knows. But I've, I have lost uh, when I've done public index runs. I have lost matches because of that. because somebody's wow. hoarding all the points and we just run out of time. Okay. Well, again, I think it's something that D has to be mindful of. But yeah. again, I'm very interested in the game mode. Yeah. Yeah. Same. I, cool. I really, I'm really curious to see what the other two are too. Or the other three. Well, one of them is exterminate. But so the other, the other two that we don't know about. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, I, I kept on making the joke that the uh, what, Void Armageddon uh, was uh, effectively you, you have to use Arcwing to take a Void Nuke uh, and land on a planet-destroying <laughs> Void Asteroid uh, that's hurting towards the Earth. Yes, and yes! You need to park on the, the Void asteroid and you need to use a excavator to drill deep enough to plant your void nuke uh to blow up the void asteroid before it comes into earth's atmosphere to save earth that there you go that's that's void you, you forgot you forgot that you had to leave bruce willis behind uh i was about to actually say and uh has a what's got an npc called um uh god i was gonna say bruce willis <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bruce Billis. There you go. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so should we move on to the next part? Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. The gameplay included the Xmas rework, where all the Xmas types um, have been updated to be tougher and have more focus on what they actually do. All Xmas units have been given graphical updates to help i was about to say geographical graphical <laughs> updates to help pick them out from the crowd and to make um the actual abilities far more visible and identifiable specifically the en la 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 specifically the enemy so, oh my god specifically the <laughs> energy leech xmas right there we go uh, we show well, the problem is there's energy like in multiple places around this word and it's yes, hurting my brain. Yeah. Right. Uh, specifically, the energy leech Xmas was shown, reworked so that uh, now the enemy doesn't just passively drain your energy. <coughs> sorry. It attack uh, sorry, it actually attacks you with a draining bubble that you can dodge out of. Um we also see the Heat Xmas, um, where we can now dodge the Fire Blast rather th um, than always having uh, to roll or get knocked down. I'm, I'm really pleased uh, about that so, one. Yeah. So there was a third one, which was the Blitz Xmas, which yeah. was like it, it fired a shockwave through the ground and things. Apparently, the Blitz Xmas have been in the game for God knows how long, but no one fucking sees them because they just get murdered well, i think they're only a corpus unit um oh are they and and they're usually a moa and what do you what do moas already do they knock you down well the, the oh, other ones do okay. anyway okay fair enough then. but uh the so i i just want to correct i'm pretty sure right now you cannot roll through no the the, the blast wave of the blast I, I have tried yeah. so many times every yes. time yeah, yeah. The only thing you can do is hide behind something. So, so again, this there is, is a actually there is actually a way to get around it. If you cast an ability that has an animation, right as you get hit by the wave, the, the animation takes precedence. So the iframes get you around it, sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay, 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 okay. Right, but uh, still, regardless, the uh, yeah, it's all all welcome changes. Uh, many many mm -hmm. Elden jokes were made many <laughs> Elden Ring jokes uh, and I very much like the direction that they're taking the Xmas units especially the energy yeah. leech Xmas haven't you guys um, been, been saying that for like ages now that the energy leech Xmas needs you know some visual yeah but like the, so the problem I think, is I think a lot of people like, have been saying that but you, you guys too yeah, but I mean, like the the biggest problem with uh, the so the the only reason why you leave a level is because like the energy leech Xmas is like you know they're just constantly draining you. You have no way of 
continuing to perform like uh oh what's what the the, 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 the invested like the easiest things to kill in the universe except yeah. for when there's freaking energy yeah leech x my it was is a parasitic or whatever it's called just like freaking oh god yeah so and you can't tell where they are and they just they have like a passive aura that does it while the new one has a a bubble that you specifically have to be in or near yeah yeah it's got a towel so you can be more active so much which is great yeah i i hope it's also more damning because you you can see this path you can see like oh the the bubbles swelling up on the ground Mm -hmm. uh you know like the um, sort of like the you know the burster that throws out nullifier bubbles? Yeah. It's kind of like that, I think. Yeah, but what I'm saying is I hope that it sort of like wipes out 75% of your energy. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, one hit. Sort of it thing. should be a lot worse when it does hit you. Yeah. yeah. Because it's so much easier to see and dodge. But yeah. again, you know, do people know how to roll? Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Good question. Uh, right. Okay, let's move on to the next part, unless you have anything else. Nope. Cool. Uh, a complete new line of cosmetics arrives with the Angels of the Zermon. Oh, good. Full More skins content. For skin, uh, so full skins for frames. The debut uh, of the Void Shell skins was shown on Saren. This is the first set of cosmetics that will let you change materials as well as colors. This was uh, still only a demo and the final result will be improved. The operator will be getting a free void shell with um, earning textures for customizations uh, from the... From, oh, God. Why? What's with all the commas? <laughs> the operator will be getting a free void shell with earning textures for customizations from the quest. So are we getting... The void shell skin for the operator from the quest, or are we getting the textures from the quest? Both. So what's with the commas? I think. Anyway, wait. I think maybe we're getting the void shell from the quest, and the textures we earn from somewhere else. I don't know. I, I don't know. Fuck knows. Right. Moving on. Uh, meanwhile, the uh, Warframe ones will most uh, will mostly be paid cosmetics with some earned items. Uh, Pablo confirms that only void shell skins will be capable of material swaps. None of the existing skins uh, can do that, as it would be a full rework of the entire uh, back catalogue of content. So, uh, one one instant question comes to mind. When can we see this for uh, Tenogen? Right? Mm. When can we start seeing Tenogen skins? support materials because like i i've always wanted um oh god i can't remember there, there, there's there was a vault helmet it was one of the early tenno gem ones it looks very much like uh some from zone of the enders i really cannot remember the name off the top of my head and uh arresty i can't remember but the the texture of the 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 turquoise teal color um does not match the the texture on war as on vault's body right. there's, there's a huge disparity between the two and i i don't like that at all so th- this system i'm very keen for and i'd like to see it that tenogen will also get to adopt the materials as well I assume it would also only apply to new Tenogen and not old Tenogen. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'd love to. I'd love to see it uh, for old Tenogen as well. Maybe it's a case of, um, you know, they they can offer a free update. The yeah. the artist they can choose to offer a free update and things. But I mean, yeah, I, I'd be one hundred percent down for that. So here's my concern with, uh. I mean, I, I'm really, I'm really excited about the idea. They've been, want, they've been teasing. People have wanted to be able to change um, their textures, so we can have, you know, bright metallic pink Excaliburs running around everywhere. Yeah. Uh, here, but, but my concern is going forward from this point, right? Are new mm-hmm. frames going to come out with void shell skins automatically? Like, will that be the default, or will they release a new skin or release a new frame that has a default skin? And then also release a void shell skin along with it that you have to pay for. 
Because it be wouldn't it be the same amount of work either way if they just did one skin? I think if they did one skin, it would be uh, a financial loss. But they already so, like, designed a skin you... for the frame. The base skin. What do you mean? They, like Excalibur is the base skin for Excalibur is a skin that they had to yes, design. But but the base skin for Excalibur, right, is free. It's one hundred percent free. You, you, yes, you don't, and so will so will the next so will the next Warframe that comes out. You will have a base skin with yes. it that is one hundred percent free. So yes. couldn't they just skip making the base skin and just make the Void Shell version and give that but, give that along with the frame? It'll, the frame would just have the Void Shell version. It wouldn't have a base skin. Or though it would be I a base get, skin. though I get where you're coming from. I think it would be a really nice thing to do. It would be a financial um, sacrifice, mm. right? Because, like, if you got Gaia, right? Like, oh yeah, I love Gaia. Gaia is really cool, and she automatically came. I believe it's a she. Uh, automatically came with her um, void shell skin, right? Well, then that's you know potential revenue that De have lost out on. But it would be you this, don't have to. I, I, you don't I have actually, to buy it. it. Yeah, but so in theory, wouldn't it be the same amount of work to create a void shell skin from scratch as it would be to create the normal skin and a void shell skin? No, no, no. I'm saying you don't have the normal skin. The void shell skin is the default. There is yes. no other skin. Yes. So it it would be less work for them. But it would be less no, revenue as well. No. Would it be the same amount of work to make each individual skin? Not not to make one skin and two skins. Are we talking? No, no. Are we talking one about one skin and one skin? No. Are we talking about um, the same amount of work each or yes. total? Each. Each. Um, no, I wouldn't have thought so. Because you would have to, I don't think the color and the pattern are necessarily on the same segment. So, like, you would have to check to make sure that the um, the material functions as expected mm. for each section of the warframe. Okay. Yeah. Then, then that, that's, what happens, that's fine then, because yeah, I was, I, I just wanted to make sure that they didn't, you know, because if we, if we look at, go ahead, yeah. I mean, it's it's all it's all about quality assurance, right? How how much due diligence are you going to put into this? Because like, if you look at Wisp right now, Wisp has this cloak that goes around her her neck, right? Mm -hmm. You could put that metallic, you could put that leopard skin print. You could put that uh, carbon fiber ah, print on it. Right. Okay. You have to make sure that it all meshes properly with the model, right? And typically, when you look at 3D modeling and stuff, there's a lot of um, nuances in what you think is part of the model, but it's actually things like bump mapping, right. where it's part of the textures. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So it's it's stuff like that. So I would not have thought it would be the same amount of time. I would have very much uh, expected it to take longer because you have to do this extra level of quality assurance. Right. Okay. Well, that's 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 fine then. That that would be fully justified. Yeah. Um. So, but I I mean I I really like the look of it. Uh, I will say I oh. I don't. I don't know about anyone here that is. You know, I. I. Ha I am severely dyslexic. I am actually registered severely dyslexic, which is one of the reasons why I struggle reading. Um, you know, our notes and things. Uh, typically, the my best choice is like bullet points. Just give me a bullet point, <laughs> and you know, I. I will go off the bullet point, and I'll just fucking fudge it the entire way and make an ass of myself and get it wrong. But the. The big thing for me is, as someone that is dyslexic, I struggle to notice the differences in things, right? So uh, often my apartment can end up being a bit of a mess because I cannot distinctly notice that, you know, oh, I need to throw away that Coke bottle. 
you know it's it's very easily out of sight out of mind for me mm -hmm. and the texture stuff that was happening during the dev stream i could not remember what the last te you know that she was uh, the reb was going through all the different textures i couldn't fucking remember them to save my life i genuinely couldn't yeah right um and i'm very sure when you're in warframe when you're in the arsenal if you're you're picking a color right if you hover over a color it hovers over the um uh it reveals so it shows the color in that slot yeah uh before, before you confirm it yeah i think so yeah right didn't, um, didn't i just do that in when i was in my arsenal in the footage earlier i wasn't paying attention well, I mean, I, I, I wasn't paying attention. I thought you were just picking <laughs> out uh, your, um, your attachments and things. Uh, yeah, but anyway, yeah. um, the, but the big thing for me is I would like some really minor functionality, which is like maybe a, a left mouse, sorry, not a left mouse button, um, like a right mouse button, or like, you know, you pull the trigger on the controller, or you, you just press, and what it does is it stops previewing right? So you see the original and then you can just flick between them. Do I like A or do I like B? Because like, you know, um, do you wear glasses? Yes. Well, not right. when I'm at home usually because it's it's not worth getting into. But yes, most of the time I do. Yeah. Okay. So um, I obviously wear glasses. You can see them on my face right now. Uh, when you go to a optician, uh, mm -hmm. they will ask you um, A or B. Or better two. Or Exactly, better one or better two, um, you know, or you know, the same, right? And things yeah. like, they 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 painstakingly spend ages going through them and things. And again, I'd like to be able to go better one, better two. Um, it's it's such a minor thing, but honestly, it it helps me to no end to be able to see that difference. You can and like you can kind of do that, but what you have to do is select one color, and then go back into your color picker and and like flick your mouse over the the new color and hope that you can see it in time yeah but it's it's again that's that's the problem though it's it's like yeah. you know putting it you know making sure that if you've got one of the edge colors you're yeah, fine that's fine right yep. I, I, it's, it's it's really dumb don't get me wrong it's really really fucking dumb no i'm but with it's you just such I'm, I'm a nice spot with you. Like, yeah i think i think fashion um, framers would love that too because a lot of times the the shades are subtle but they're important yeah. Uh, I will also say, I think personally, over the Void Shell skins, the only skins that I would like to see this uh, texture stuff, if at all possible, is really the deluxe skins, mm. right? Those are the only, because they radically change the body. Those are the only ones that I truly want to see um, have the, the texture stuff. Yeah. What about, what about Prime skins? Do you think Primes would have a different. Or would it just be one shell skin? No, I think for ease, it should be one shell skin at first. Uh, and then maybe go back and uh, do some of the other ones. I mean, like, how many Warframes now don't have an Immortal skin anymore? It's true, yeah. You know, when, did the, when did the Immortal skins stop? I think they started doing the Deluxes instead. Uh, no, 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 no. Because, I, you know, I know, I think... Zephyr had uh, oh god one of the, one of the Warframes had an immortal skin and it was put on Barrow. Yeah, um, I think several of them were actually. Yeah, so it's it's just stuff like that, really. Yeah, you know. So, but I I really like the idea of the immortal skin. Sorry, the voice shell skins. It's just for me the big thing is being able to see that difference because that that was like I did try Anthem years ago. Mm. Um, <laughs> when my PC couldn't fucking do shit with it, and before they absolutely just killed, it. I played that uh, that beta. Yes, and I like I spent far too long flipping between the textures. I like I I just couldn't follow. I can't tell if it's better with one I or mean, two. It was, it was the I mean, best like, part of that game anyway. So you know you weren't missing out much. Uh, it's, wow. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, I I'd, I'd love to do it. It's just you know, um, I, it needs some proper. Mm, proper going over yeah. yeah right okay uh any other points on the void shell skins uh i'm really glad they're offering at least a free path for some of them that's really nice um yeah i'm excited for it can't wait to see all those 
What is metallic? Pink. Excaliburs. Oh. Shining brighter yeah. than the sun. Yeah. Right. Okay. So next we have uh, the next Warframe uh, was debuted and is called Gaia. It is Gaia, isn't it? Gaia. Yeah. Yeah. I, or uh, Gia. Did they say Gaia? No, she said Gaia. I'm pretty Gaia. sure she said Gaia. Gaia. Gyre? Gyre, Gyre. I don't remember. I think it's Gyre, because like gyroscope. I'm not sure. Yeah. But anyway. Uh, she's a graceful electricity-based warframe. Um, Pablo teased her second ability that uses physics, um, but absolutely no information on her uh, beyond idle animations was given. She very much a ballerina. Oh yeah, but she's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I want her. I hope her abilities are good because I really think she looks good. Hey, you know, personal taste. Yeah, no accounting for it. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> okay. Um, no, to be fair, she, like, she kind of reminds know. me. There's a Trinity skin that she kind of reminds me of. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but a very similar feel. Not sure about that. Anyway. Uh, I, I'll, I'll I'll give her a go. I'll see what I think of her and things. I can't remember which Warframe I tried recently. I was just like, I don't understand. But I mean, that's that's the common <laughs> that's pace with me right now. All of them these days. Yeah. Right. Okay. So uh, next, as a side update, Kubro Hair fur texturing, uh, patterning, and performance for your GPUs have all been updated, uh, and will ship with the Angel of the Zerman to make your dogs look better there's also the valkyr i don't know if that's in our notes but the valkyr skin is also supposed to become the deluxe skin mm. is supposed to be coming with um angel of the Zerman as well it took, it so, took way too long to get to the kubro hair but it does look good it does like it, it really genuinely looks uh really good the the, the next question is corgi kubro when <laughs> so uh next oh i love here this. we go here we go the focus system is having a comprehensive update. It's having a complete overhaul, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, this will give you a full respec opportunity because there is now, because now there will be uh, no point pool yeah. and every single tree will work differently. Rebecca showed us a bit, uh, a little bit of the Unairu tree. All the nodes have been streamlined so that uh, you can turn on every buff and it doesn't um, create negative effects like passive energy drain. That like, Basically, they they, um, they designed the, the original design of the... Oh, God. Uh, the focus system. So, like, you would turn on and off nodes to specialize in certain things. But they found that everyone would just turn on everything. Um, except for the the negative ones, which no one would turn on. Yep. So um, yep. I think there is one negative for one of the schools that's actually more of a positive than you know people take it for. There, if I remember, some of them are a couple of them uh, are kind of like the corrupted mods, where it's it's good if you level it up like halfway, but if you level it up too much, it becomes it becomes yeah. bad for you. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, right, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, instead of everything um, as an opt in action, you must use your. Um, uh, oh shit, my brain's just done. My dyslexia just kicked in. <sighs> God. Instead of everything uh, is an opt in. I think you meant um, as an opt in. No, 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 no. All the nodes have been streamlined so that you can turn on every buff and it doesn't create negative effects like passive energy drain. Instead, everything is an opt-in. Oh, okay. I see. Um, that you must use with operator abilities. There um, is a high focus on Unaru for cycling between the operator and the warframe using Unaru, switching to operator or... Uh, Back to your frame will grant you duration buffs um, to either. Unirairu gives you opportunities uh, to survive lethal damage um, with a node called Second Chance, and even 
uh, offers a node where timing a button press can prevent your operator having to transfer um, all the way back to where you left your warframe when hurt instead brings your warframe um, to you as normal um, i want to unless there's anything specific you want to talk about that i want to read the next paragraph as well um i anything that's in there i can hang on to Okay. Operators as a mechanic are having a streamline so uh having a streamlining update. The switch to operator is now client based, so no more laggy transference. Uh on one side, the dash has been redesigned to lower the momentum and give us more control. You will uh, be able to see a brief preview of your dash so that you can control how far you go. Um and with how much momentum, everything is aimed to make the operator part, so uh, part of the normal flow of combat, right? I love this, right? Mm. I love the fact that the so th th there's there's two ways to to seeing this. Um, you know, we we've we've pushed Loz and I have pushed quite heavily the idea that there should be operator driven combat where you have to fight something as your operator, not as your Warframe. But um, as people on Reddit will say, like, you know, the game's called Warframe, I should be focusing about my Warframes, uh -huh. not anything else. So, oh, pardon me. This feels like the, the opposite direction, where it's let's bring our warframes to collaborate so bring our operators to collaborate with the warframes so they kind of go hand in hand more of a unified, uh, not, a unified being yeah which is not the direction Loz and i wanted to go down but i think it makes more sense for the player base because again the whole the game's called warframe right uh i first off i love the whole you're you're you are able to define the distance of how far you blink right i love that i've wanted a game to do this for fucking ever i don't know why um games haven't done this in the past it, it's now, yeah i did hear today um completely unfounded rumor so take it with a huge lump of salt uh mm -hmm. that you will still be able to spam dash because a lot of people were, were concerned that oh i have to now there's a pause between every time i dash kind of like the the new arcwing blink where you have there's a cool down um but but they said you should be able to still just spam your dash out if you wanted to just do it that way. Okay. Just you know, just kind of an important little thing. You can control it, or you can just use it the way you've always used it. I'm not quite sure about that because those feel like very polar opposites to me. I don't know how you would control it and not control it at the same time. Maybe unless you have to, they like were... hold down the button, and if you hold it down. You get the the preview, and then if you just tap it, you can just spam it like normal. Do the full blink. Uh, maybe yeah. that that would make sense. To be fair, um, right? What else is there? Um, the focus tree, so the focus system rework. I am very much on board for this. Yeah. Um, it's, I, it's a little weird that they're getting rid of way. Uh, the, not sorry, uh, way capacity, but also at the same time. That's just because I've had to go through it and I want everyone else to have to go through it. It's, it's probably all, better to get rid of it, honestly. In all honesty, I don't know what you're talking about when you say capacity. Uh, so in the focus school, you can only activate a certain amount of stuff at a time. And if you want to activate more, then you have to uh, invest some of your focus into capacity. Oh. So each node takes a certain amount of capacity. Like It's like mod drain. Oh, uh, well. I think there's like 177 weight capacity. I think I think I maxed it out because my Vazarin is just maxed out. I'm like, well, if, if, you, you, if, you what do, if you want to do all the schools, then you have to have it completely maxed out. Yeah, but it's yeah. it's just like, uh, you know, so I, I find it very, very like confusing as to, to what you're talking about. But regardless yeah. of that, regardless, regardless. Um, I so yeah fine get get rid of the capacity thing yeah. it makes sense to get rid of it um the I don't know what they're doing about the way bounds because I mean it looked I like think, they still had one but who knows if that's placeholder or not 
yeah that could be placeholder they could be just like reworking it still and we don't really know uh what else is there um waybounds uh the the fact that you're going to be start using abilities now rather than like active yes. abilities like you're going to start hit, hitting one two and yeah, three yeah one two three yeah instead yeah. of like oh well on this one you have to dash through the thing i so when we were talking to Loz about this he he raised something like that uh, I thought was really valid, which was about um, the the order in which you buff and debuff stuff. So Nairu is, uh, as they said during the stream, like the least used school, right? Yeah. If you buff that first, in all likelihood, your future buffs for future schools will be better than the the buff you've come up with for this school right so i think that's a really valid point that people will have um potentially I'd, overlooked i'd like to think that in the background they're working on all these at the same time and this is just the one they chose to to set up with you know in game dis well in game in dev build descriptions and stuff rather than just stuff well, written on a, a whiteboard i think probably the best part of this would be um, they actually have separate people dedicated to the separate schools. Mm. You know, so team A is looking at Nairu, team B is looking at Vazarin, uh, team C is looking at Xenoric. They, they, it's not just one person redesigning all, it's, it's individuals, but it depends if they have the capacity to deal with that. Yeah. You know, um, if, if it's anything like my company, that will be unlikely. You'll have one dedicated designer to the project and you know so um but he Lars Lars has a very valid point um so let's hope that all the the schools get oh god sorry now let's hope that all the schools get a, a an equal share of buffage nope this is gonna be Nariman and Zenyrik again oof uh Vazarin for life <laughs> I but I mean, like you know, because they're they're trying to get rid of some of these things that are oh, you you no longer dash through the 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 war front, so the 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 target to heal it or something like that. I mean, does this mean all of a sudden we're now going to get uh, healing beams? You know, so it, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Yeah. Right. Uh, d -d 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 but I am glad that the focus system is getting another look at. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it, it's also important right. to note that this is not um, like a third tier, at least as far as we understand. As far as I understand it, this is not a third tier. Yep. The same way that you pass in when you go from second dream focus tree to war within. This is just going to replace the war within one entirely. Yes. Yeah. 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 Though we we also asked the question like, it does, is is the second dream one still there? Because uh, yeah, yeah, it's you know, it's been so long. Right. Okay. Cool. So that is that for the operator stuff. Uh, are you ready for me to move on to the next part? Uh, yes. Are you here? Cool. Yeah. Right. Yep. Uh, as for the last item to include in the update, uh, there will be oh. a new weapon type. What? Sorry, I was. I thought it was that one. It's yeah. It's this one. No, no. Uh, there will be a new weapon type and weapon stance. Uh, we are getting a two-handed heavy uh, scythe stance and weapon uh, artwork for the day uh, for the debut weapon, and a set stance animations were shown off a bit. Um, honestly, the scythe looks freaking amazing. Yeah, it does. And like, I'm happy that the edge of the scythe is on the outside, not the inside, because that's stupid for a weapon. Um, uh, it is complemented by a new series of weapons to be... So this is complemented by a new series of weapons to be released with an NPC on the Chrysalith hub. Um, these are called evolving weapons, similar to the evolving armor set uh, we received for the new war. Rebecca showed off the pre-evolved state. Um, th this was just concept art. Um, of five new weapons a dagger pistol shotgun rifle and tomfa i also think that's a single shot rifle like a potentially a sniper rifle i don't think that was uh an assault rifle mm. um 
dust, you know, there, sure, there was no... but yeah, it did kind of look yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, all of these weapons will have an evolved form, uh, which was not shown off. Uh, these weapons evolve by completing specific challenges, such as killing specific enemies. So they, like, they showed off the, uh, you know, proposed UI for this. Um, and it said like kill seven void angels or something like that, or kill nine void angels um, to proceed evolving and things. Um, the weapons will have a complete UI for customization, which Pablo described as being what the players wanted from the modular weapon system. Instead of choosing the parts and committing to a specific set of stats, once you unlock uh, a weapon the evolutions, uh, you can select from a UI to use or swap them out with other evolutions. Um, at the end of the stream, they showed off the trailer for the Angels of the Zermin and confirmed that the update drops in April. Um, so just just to you know talk about the UI thing, I do feel that we're still going to see cookie cutter weapons like the, these evolved weapons if they're good enough we're going to see like oh yeah everyone's using the same cookie cutter build for these weapons people people want the the the, sure. the path to least resistance they want the the cheapest cheesiest well i mean everyone's going to have the same same type of upgrades for their weapon same way you have all the same zaw parts available it's just which combination of those is going to be the best yeah yep mm. Mm. but at least this time you don't have to build a completely new one you can just swap your bits around, which is what I think you and Laws have been saying forever, that the Zaw parts and the kick gun parts should be... You shouldn't have to take your... Build a whole new gun, you should just be able to take it apart no, like, and use the parts you have. The problem is that the, the stats that comes with those, those kick gun parts and things like that, they are... Um, they're massively gameplay changing. Right. Yeah. It's so some some of the stuff that um, Pablo was saying was like you know some some of these uh, buffs will be like procs and things like this, and some of them will just be straight straight stat increases and you know I was like well whatever does the most damage that's what people are going to pick. Yep. Exactly. Right? It, exactly. It's, you know. Uh, you could so, you could run into some weird and wonderful things where I'm stealing all your words, geez. Uh, where you like if you have this sort of um what's the word i'm looking for here uh I have status no proc. idea status proc yeah and then you have this other arcane on your warframe or or on your sword or whatever yeah. uh, you can suddenly do billions of damage and but it, but it's not the strongest gun by itself yeah you could you could run into that kind of thing. yeah that's true but again, uh, at the end of the stream, they did say that the update is due to drop in April. Mm -hmm. So, you know, fingers crossed. Um, be a pessimist. Assume that it's going to be May. end of April. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, May. May, you know. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, you know, at least that's, that's good. But, I mean, uh, four months of uh, well, it, it yes, yeah, take it a bit while to to get it's, to this. I, I overall, it's pretty, it's pretty clear that all this stuff was supposed to ship with or very soon after new war. Yeah, uh, I, I I will say that I very much, I I I uh, <laughs> I don't like being overly critical, right? I don't like being a dickhead for. The sake of just being a dickhead. Why are you inside an asteroid? I don't. This so that's a that's a railjack bug that sometimes happens. It's very okay. fun. It's very very fun. Anyway, so <laughs> I I don't like being overly critical. I really genuinely don't. The the problem I had with this dev stream is it took an hour before we saw any gameplay. Yeah. Right. By that point in time, um, you know, I, I was getting tired. I, you know, I it, I felt a bit bombarded. I couldn't really take everything in. Well, the, the flow was also just kind of off. Like, we went to the Zeremen, and then we went back to our orbiter to look at some fashion and, and some dogs. And then finally, after a while longer, we went back to the Zeremen to do the gameplay. Like, like come 
couldn't have done that, you know, you couldn't have saved the Zerman stuff for the end and done all your fashion stuff at the beginning. I personally, I think it should have been the other way around. I well, think yes, they should have shown ideally, off. Yeah, but I think they should have shown off the 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 cool stuff first. I mean, like, I, maybe we'll propose this as a question for the audience. But personally, I think the cool stuff first will then get you hyped enough for whatever comes afterwards. No, no, no. Right? Everyone knows you save the best for last. Yeah, I really don't think that works. <laughs> Like, you know, when, when, when you watch uh, a series, like, uh, I'm going to bring up this movie again. It's come up way too often in the last few days. Uh, you know, the, the Joker movie, right? Mm. I hated the Joker movie because the first 20 minutes, I was so goddamn bored. Nothing had happened. I was so close to walking out of the cinema, right? But, like, you know, the end. The end was, like, fucking phenomenal right yeah but was it worth me sitting through the rest of the movie right and that that's the sort of like you know attitude if you want to keep if you want to hype someone up you introduce something at the start look look at how i mean i don't know have you watched any of the marvel movies uh n yes but i think i stopped right around the first avengers movie Okay. I, I haven't watched a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. I'm not, well, I'm not sure it's fair to compare um, showing off tech and stuff to to telling a story. Because with telling a story, you do want to hook people, but with with this, you already knew there was going to be gameplay footage eventually. No, but but that's the that's the point, though, right? It's like saying, you know, oh, you don't get to see Iron Man in. The, uh, the third Iron Man movie for like the first hour and a half of the movie in the third one, right? right. Because, you know, you know you're going to see Iron Man at some point, but that doesn't dismiss the fact that I've come here to see Iron Man. I the story, have come the story to is the meant Dev to engage you. A Dev stream yeah, isn't necessarily but, meant to engage you. It's meant to show off. I mean, they do the same thing with Tenocon, right? They save the big stuff for the very end because they want you to go away with that hype feeling. No. No, 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 no. They start the the stream off with some really minor stuff, and then by fifteen minutes in, right, ten minutes in, because the the tennis con stream is a like one hour. It is one hour long tops. Yeah. Right. They, they 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 push the whole thing really quickly, and the big thing comes in about ten minutes in. But if you take right? tennis con as a whole, they're still doing the best at the very end. Yeah, but we're not talking about the whole, are we? We're, yeah, talking we We're talking about the, the dev stream. stream. Oh my god, I'm going to fucking thump you. <laughs> right? You are trying to antagonize me so hard right now. No, I really do, right? I really do think it's a valid point that, that um, when you're telling a story, you're meant to engage people when you're doing... Like, engage people in the narrative. And with this, you're not... There is no, there's no narrative. How, you're just showing stuff off. How often do you watch a video uh, on YouTube and things? You're like, you know, I've, I've been sat here for two minutes. I'm bored out of my skull. I'm done. Depends on if it's something I'm I'm uh, excited about. Or... Yeah, no, but you're looking for something, uh, right? So I mean, I I want to, I still want to improve. Um, Notice to be senpai and arbiters, right? But you know, I need intros for them before I can actually do the improvement I want. You know, right. like I I do feel that the arbiters and um, Notice to be senpai they start too slow, right? They need a 10, min 10 second mid segment at the start just to show this is how spicy it's going to get, right? Because Again, I'm not sure that's, that's a fair comparison because you're trying to capture an audience that you don't have yet. They have the audience and they're, show just, they're just showing the stuff to the audience that already is invested in Warframe. So were you, are you telling me you were happy waiting an hour before you saw any of the gameplay? I would have been happier if they hadn't split it up so badly and if they'd shown maybe a little more gameplay, but that's... They could always no, 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 that's, 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 that's not the question. The question is, are you happy waiting for an hour before you see any gameplay? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. We'll see what the audience says. But, uh, I, I nope. Get on with it. That's just, I ain't got enough I'd, time I'd for rather, this shit. I'd rather Get on with up, it. I'd rather be hyped up at the end and take that feeling away from with me then be hyped up at the beginning and then have to sit through a bunch of fashion that I don't necessarily care about. 
Yeah, but you can stop watching it then. No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't. I have to know. I have to know everything that's going on. Uh, anyway, right. <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. For I'm this doing topic. it for my, for my job right yeah. now. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's it for the topics. So if you want to hit the clear button, and then we yeah. can move on yeah, yeah. to other parts of this show. And good, we're still recording. <laughs> right. So uh, next part is the. I didn't send you the graphs. Oh shit! Oh no. Uh, let's, let's pause. Let's pause then. Sorry, I know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm a professional. Right. <laughs> so the first graph. Uh, do you think law of Warframes were about the operators piloting them? Uh, 21% said no opinion, 37% said no, and 42% said yes. Wow. I'm kind of surprised by that. Me too, honestly. Yep. Um, then the next question was, which Warframe do you want to see a, um, a Leverian entry for? Wow. And there's pretty much an equal tie between Wukong, Zaku, and Nidus. Honestly, yeah. Zaku and Nidus, I'm, 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 I'm down for. Uh, Wukong, maybe, maybe. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with whatever. I mean, I mean, more lore is always good lore, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm utterly surprised no one said Oberon, but you know, <laughs> whatever. Uh, and then the next one, which, right, okay. Which Warframe do you actively avoid playing? Right? <laughs> uh, so we have 11% for Loki and 11% for Trinity. And then a whopping, I can't read that because my glasses are off, 32% uh, for Yureli. That's, that's amazing. I mean, not whopping. unexpected, but also amazing. Whopping thirty-two <laughs> percent. Oh, yep. Uh, then uh, moving on, we have uh, what's called. Why don't you play uh, that specific Warframe? So, um, I think I'm going to have to stop giving people the option to input their own um, responses because they're shit is not a valid response uh it tells me absolutely nothing because their shit is entirely subjective right uh so five percent said other basically was something i couldn't put into a category uh 42 percent said not my play style and 53 percent said boring boring so, boring but uh. yeah yeah. So, right. yeah that that is that is it for. Oh, that's right. Graphs. That's the last one, isn't it? Yeah, there's only I I couldn't really come up with any more uh, right. graphs to you know questions to to pull in. Right. So the next section of the show is what is the next section? Supporter questions. Uh, uh yeah, supporter questions, which I sent you. You did send me. Uh, yeah, so. Uncle Thalian. Oh, sweet Uncle Thalian. Uh, it is, it's the start of the new update cycle for Warframe this year. In celebration, I want you all to hit the like, subscribe, and find... Hit the like, subscribe. I think it means like and subscribe. Uh, and find all the links in the description below. We read every comment and even read some of them out on the show. So now, on to the rest of the questions. Dear sweet Uncle Thalian also says... Uh, DE's next substantial update is Angels of Zeremon. Do you think this will have any similar plot threads to the famous pair of Disney movies, Angels in the Outfield and Angels in the Infield? I didn't know there was a sequel to those, or to that one. No. <laughs> Do you I have know no what idea Angels what... in the Outfield is? 50 Quid says it's baseball. Yes, uh, it is, um, oh, what is his name? The guy that, Christopher Lloyd, plays an angel. And is helping a down and out team get back on their feet. Yeah. Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. The yeah. Christopher, the Christopher Lloyd. Lloyd. And this is and this is before he had to do stuff just to pay his rent. Wait, how young is he? 
Uh, it was a 90s movie, so... Well, I mean, he's done Back to the Future by that point. Yeah. Th okay. I'm saying, I'm saying this is before he had... Like, now he has to do just any old thing to pay his rent. Okay. But back then, he was still had that Back to the Future money. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, so, Zrugal says... Uh, wait, did we answer? Did I answer? It doesn't matter. Yeah, I said yeah. no, because said I no. never watched it. Uh, I, I, think, I think it will definitely. We're going to save... Um, I mean, the Zeremon baseball I think, team. I think the Angels of the Zeremon is going to be followed up by Angels of the Zara Woman. There you go. Right. The says, uh, so you seem to like Elden Ring. What would it take to bribe you to play Elder Scrolls Online? I'm joking. I remember asking you about it before. Um, not a great deal, Rit. I mean, like, as long as the gameplay is good. I did try it in the beta days. And I'm like, there's no mini map. Why is there no fucking mini map? This is garbage. And like, yeah. I know some awesome. people that are very into Elder Scrolls. I just, I don't see myself playing it. Yeah, I'm all about that Elden Ring. But anyway. <laughs> uh, and Zrugal also asks, I want to ask what you're most excited for from the dev stream. But I imagine you've covered that in the topics. So instead, I'll ask, do you think we'll get a set of evolving weapons that are infested themes? That would be damn well cool. Yeah, like that that could come in from Deimos. They could they could add that to Deimos quite easily. I, I mean, obviously they are going just for a sort of a, uh, sentient stuff right now, but there's no reason that the, the infested couldn't are evolve they either. Uh, oh, I don't know. Are uh, surely the new weapons are? No, they maybe they are. Tenno. Maybe they are. Yeah, hmm. that very like wood. Like metal. Oh, that's steel, right. There was knife. wooden on one of the, like a wooden handle on one of them, wasn't there? All of them. All of them? All of them. Oh, I need to get my eyes on Daddy. You probably should. Right. Uh, next section, we've got the community response from last week's episode. Yes. So, Dunson Origins. We could fit. Or we could fix PvP by just putting everyone in a blank modular kit frame. Which, yeah. That would work. And they kind of do that in, um, I think I said this before, uh, the, the Dog Days event where everyone is gated to the same health and shields. Um, you could do something like that, only instead of against Grenier, it's against each other. Yeah, I don't think that alone would fix um, PvP. I, you really need to like get dedicated servers and shit. Oh, yeah, for sure. But it would be a step in the right direction. Yeah, I suppose. Uh, Strombus Shell, I look forward to the, that test demo Kampai cast. Not sure why. I think the audio sounds fine, but I'm curious. Uh, you really should go listen to it if you haven't already at this point, because yeah. it is it's night, night and day. day. It's massive. It really, really is massive. Um, JJ, the Warframe that needs a Laverian entry is Loki. I'm totally biased, but most of the older Primes have at least a Codex entry. Loki Prime has nothing. Loki has no trace in the lore. This next sentence is exactly why I picked this comment. He's invisible. I don't get it. But no, seriously, he, <laughs> he, should, he should get a lore entry. Seriously. Uh, Peter Graver, I can't wait till Laws is back. I need my cynicism and, dis and skepticism. Look, I'm sorry. I'm just so hopeful. You know, I yeah. just... You'll get him back. He's not eventually. British enough. Yeah, yeah. I haven't need to break my, his kneecaps. I haven't had my, my uh, passion worn down by years of, of servitude under the Queen. You really uh, think we work for the Queen? <laughs> Yeah, That's not how that works. We've talked about this before. It's like an ant colony. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. But right. Cause, anyway, cause that's, how, that's why she's the queen. Because no, 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 shut up. Uh, and I'm finally, talking. and finally, from Portal Puma, um, who says Nasus sounds so much like Joey. I don't hear it. Um, I think maybe you need to contact your doctor. But I, I appreciate the comment all the same, because oh, Joey sounds awesome. Personally, personally, right? I mean, we've never seen Joey and Nazareth in the <gasps> same space, so, you know, I mean... Shoot. kind of says a lot, really. Yeah. Right. I mean, Zeno can't have that many friends. <laughs> we're, all, we're all actually the same. We're all actually just laws. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Pre-recording those episodes with, uh, with laws <laughs> and Nazareth. So much effort. And, and predicting everything that would be on the dev, dev, the dev stream, too. I mean, yeah. 
it's, no, it's no, the no, insider no. information we, we, D we gives you, right? Afterwards. No, we record that afterwards. But like uh, <sighs> the the no, but the whole the whole uh, what's called Loz's flawless American accent. Like, mm, you know, yes, so just, just like just like you, Lori. <laughs> God. Anyway. <laughs> Memes? Right, next. Yeah, let's go for the memes. Meme. So I actually, they actually were quite a few memes this week. Okay. Uh, oh, let me make that bigger so you can see it. Yeah. Right, so we have MR30 high spec enjoying Warframe. That's, you know, you know what that is. Uh, is and the Sinoid Simulor? Yes, the Mirage and the Sinoid Simulor. Yeah. Okay. okay. MR3, okay. low spec oh my God. Warframe. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, number right. two, Tenno enters the relay. Samaris! <laughs> so fucking creepy. Just anywhere in the relay. Uh, that's just so fucking <laughs> creepy. Yep. Ah, uh, yes. Wally in a nutshell. Oh my God. That's awful. <laughs> oh god, okay, so legendary this one was actually two images, but I, I switched them together. Legendary yeah, yeah, yeah. one, uh seven hundred hours, legendary one, three thousand hours, MR sixteen, five thousand hours. Oh my it, god. It really is just all about the time you put in. What the hell is wrong with that guy's I know like that. <laughs> Oh what didn't God. what didn't I get last week? The guy with the huge one bicep that was like it looks like an idol on weak point. Or was that a couple yeah. weeks ago? I yeah. can't remember. Yeah, yeah. And then you got the mega chat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, number five, it do be like that. Demos enemies when farming obelisks. Understandable. Have a nice day. Have a great day. Demos enemies as soon as you decide to fish or hunt. Tonight we dine in hell. Yep. 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 Every time. Yep. Just take a Vara. It'll be fine. Every time. Uh, uh, every time. I <laughs> uh, hope those walls are soundproof, or at least the Octavia Banshee proof. The kids in the other Zeremin apartments playing skeg music. Rifter trying <laughs> to get a decent two hour sleep. <laughs> and, and finally, bonus meme, because there were just quite a few this week. Something yep. less spicy. Slowest things in the world. Sloths. Snails. This thing crafting when you need it. Bubble defense countdown. MR2 on his way to extraction. Look at them! <laughs> they come to this place when they know they are not worthy. Yep. 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 Uh, Captain Force speech. Brilliant. Uh, so okay, so time so time for the community shout outs. And uh this time I bring eight. <gasps> oh, cool. Oh. So the first one is Wukong oh and gosh. Titania as a commission uh by Carl Tabora. It looks like he's using a, a Sith weapon, but that's only because it's it's colored red. Sure. Yeah. Freaking Star Trek noob. Uh, <laughs> the second one is uh, Daffodil by Rittens. Is that is that that is Limbo, right? Yeah. Using yeah, the butterfly yeah. wings. Cute. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The <laughs> third community shout out is Nidus and Maggots. By someone oh, I forgot to Nidus. write down the name for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Nidus Prime. I, I, for uh, some reason, on. I thought it was like a, a fusion with Sonic. Uh, by Curdy. This is this is um. the yeah. So I forgot to write down the name by Curdy. Right. The next one is Neff's new business idea, which is a four-panel comic uh, by Mushkin, and it's definitely right. good. Oh, yes. Don't, don't right, have you seen don't it? Don't right-click, save his face. Have you seen it? I have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Right. The fifth one is Glowy Void Demon I Decided to Draw Instead of Sleeping by Cass. Imagine if Nidus's parts actually glow. Oh, that'd be so good. All right. Oh uh, my god, what? The sixth one is Prime Average Helping Fellow Content Creators by Leonidax. Likes every single post, not even Warframe related. Buy his skin yep. so artists have better. Uh, Refs, yes. Uh, RT's yep. fine art. L, Ella, a, I don't know what that one is. Uh, and refuses to elaborate. Okay. All right. Was that six? That yep. was six. Uh, yep. Seven is um, Jaya by Bug Breach. Hmm. Yeah. Man, I don't know how these artists get this work out so fast. 
Oh my god, this was like literally a couple of hours after the dev stream. It, it, it and terrifies then, me. And then the eighth one <laughs> oh, is yes. Jaya by Joriel. Oh, always good to see one of these. Yep. So there we go. So that's Wonderful. it for the community shout outs. Right. Well, that is it for this week's episode of uh, 10 o'clock. It's not getting shorter and shorter anymore. Um, we managed to trick Nazareth into. I mean, we even took out the emblems at the start. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yes, yeah, so that that is it for the this week's episode. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening. Say goodbye, Nazareth. Goodbye, Nazareth. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that.